Hey, what's going on guys? Hope that one will be fine and welcome back to the main stack crash course. So I think so this video is all for the beginners, those who have no idea before and never learn about main stack, how we can combine all those technologies. So this video is highly recommended for all, right? So before you should jump on this video, I highly suggest you to watch my previous video uh, last two weeks that I created where I build the RESTful API card with the Node.js Express MongoDB and we have test those API using the Postman. So you need to watch that first before you jump directly to the main stack where we are using Angular as a front end. So main stack stand for MongoDB, Express, Angular, and Node.js. So you need to learn a very basic stuff before if you that will be really easier for you to jump on this course but still if you have no idea and you haven't learned before and you want to move on this tutorial so still i try to explain things step by step as much as i could able to deliver you right so um you need to watch first the restful api card that i created with the node.js and we have tested the api by using postman but here on this video we are going to explain and, th and make things using the uh, angular and 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 uh, perform the crud operation so you need to follow up all the steps so let's first look for the demo and in the next part i'm going to explain everything from the scratch where we will where we will create the angular app install it and all also uh, all those dependencies that were required to install the angular app right so uh, all the steps that I have done here. So first thing you will learn about how we can navigate from one page to the end of this So basically these are all the routings and we can navigate uh, from home to the ad employee So we have separate ad employee page where we are gonna uh, add the uh, the employee So if I just want to click on the submits button You see there is a very nice list which required name is required email and the salary so um and i also use some alerts so once i click on the submits button you see the very nice alert which is basically the toaster where we can get the response from the backend api and show the response on the alert so you want to see that and let's uh, let's create the uh, very first name so let's make a demo and give it the demo at the rate gmail.com and the salary is five thousand and if i just want to click on the submits button and you see a very nice sweet alert show us the response of 200 with the message of employee added successfully and as well as we can and we can directly navigate to the main home page where we can show the listing right and you see this is basically uh, all the listings as much as i can add we have also two operations that we can add it or delete so let's go into the added and if i just want to make this 5000 to 50000 and click on the submits you see the employee updated successfully with the response of 200 which means that the response is successful all right and uh, if i go back to the home page you see the salary is now 5000 we can also delete the response with the red alert which shows that something is deleted successfully with the response 200 all right so that's that's all the very basic crowd operation and you see you will learn a lot of stuff with the help of the mean stack you we will later on uh, explain about the course and with the help of course we can get the http uh, domain or the or the request from the api and i want to explain those things in the next video so that's it guys so i hope you guys will love this series so don't forget to like and subscribe and i want to explain things in the next part